right, time to get started. Welcome to the stream. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. We will be getting back into Fantasy Star 4 stream willing. <laughs> Hopefully there's no complications there. But uh, before that, there's something I wanted to check out here. We're going to take a look at Stellar Blade on the PS5. Uh, I had played the demo for this oh, about kind of around when that launched. And... Um, I liked it all right. I liked it decent enough to the point where I was like, you know what, I might want to play that. So I ended up grabbing it. Uh, if anything, just to have something a little bit different to do. I haven't been playing a whole lot of other games outside of what I've been streaming. And what I have been streaming is a bunch of uh, RPGs. We just started up Chrono Trigger during the last stream. And uh, we've been kind of chipping away at Fantasy Star 4 as well. So I figure I might as well try something new, something a little bit different. Uh, we're probably not going to be coming back to this like a whole lot but just to kind of break up you know the rpg aspect since i'm juggling two rpg games right now uh i figure i might as well do a little bit of this so if anything it might make a short appearance at the beginning of a stream and i'll try it for like a, an hour or two or something like that and then we'll go back into either fantasy star or chrono trigger or whatever we happen to be working on but let's go ahead and get back into it i noticed that with the uh demo played you can pick up right where the demo left off i might just uh look at starting a new game i guess it helps for the stream's sake to kind of get a beginning of what's going on with the story here but uh also i'm probably gonna need just a little bit of a refresher <laughs> before we get into this thing so let's take a look Normal mode is fine. I'm actually surprised that there's a difficulty setting. I don't think there was a difficulty setting with uh, the um, original, or the demo that came out. looking a little chaotic yeah just a bit also <laughs> i said i was gonna get started so i could you know figure out what i'm doing i guess it's more so me starting from the beginning to, to get used to the controls again but uh i've not been paying attention to anything that's been going on screen i've been trying to make sure my stream is set up correctly it's not doing it Okay. 
イブ、怪我はないここは危険よ捕まって<laughs> Rip door Yeah, literally It just got ripped Ah, that's the good stuff Apparently this is Earth, and there's a bunch of shit going on, and we got these robo women that are here to restore order in some fashion. Anyway, good for me to get a refresher on how the controls work. I've been wanting to play something a little bit action-oriented. Last year I did, and, and played it through into this year, but um, <clears throat> I've been willing to give kind of like these sort of i don't even know if they're indie but like they got big companies backing them but maybe maybe they're along the lines of like double a studio games uh since i played lies of p last year i think that came out in october last year i played it on game pass when i had that i actually continued game pass for several months so that i could finish it uh but i ended up really liking that game quite a bit i never streamed it or anything but um i thought it was really fun so <clears throat> I actually thought it was more engaging than most of the actual, like, from software games that I've played in recent memory. Something about them from software games, I don't know. They're a little. They're fun, but I don't know if they just go on too long or something about it. I'm not too sure, but I always end up, like, giving up halfway through. I'm just like, eh, I've had my fill. <laughs> And sometimes it's a challenge thing. Sometimes I'll like come across a boss or something that I think is a little bit too rough for me, and I'm like, eh, you know, maybe I'll come back at this another in another week or something like that. But um, I don't know. Dark Souls two, I never finished. Three, I don't think I finished. Uh, played Bloodborne all the way through. It took me a little while, and I did think I uh, took a break on that, but uh, I still. I don't know, that one was, dis was different enough where I, I liked it, and I felt it was a little bit more engaging. It's actually kind of more along the lines of what Liza P sort of copied, in terms of uh, tone and setting. Um, and then obviously Sekido I liked quite a bit. I've talked about that one, did it on stream a year or two ago, I forget now, but uh, one of my favorite, I would say like top 10 games of all time. Um, but really ended up liking that one. So that was one that I, I finished, but, uh, Elden Ring, I mean, fun, neat to explore. I thought a lot of it was, was cool, but end of the day, I don't know. I think it might've just been a little bit too long. I mean, I put, you know, 40 hours or something into it and I never felt like I was, I guess it, it, partially to blame is on me because, uh, I do all the extra stuff, and I'm looking in every nook and cranny and going in every dungeon, so it just ends up taking a lot longer, I think, instead of going straight for the main objectives. Um, but, you know, I, I, I kind of get bored with it after a minute, so I never finished that one. Been meaning to go back to it at some point, but you know, I got it on the Steam Deck so I can play it portably, but it still hasn't, uh, still hasn't happened. But yeah, for whatever reason, like, uh, Liza P was, I thought was a little bit more engaging. I, I kind of liked the setting and the tone and um, the pacing of the game felt a little bit more quick. Something about it I thought was fun, so I figured since I like that one so much, I know this is a completely different studio and everything, but kind of a similar situation. It's, you know, a double A kind of studio that's sort of taken off of an uh, established franchise. And uh, the more I saw people talking about it as a know got released and everything the more people were saying oh it's, it's you know reminds me of Sekido I don't know I don't know if people know what they're talking about <laughs> maybe maybe not um, I've played it for all of like I don't know an hour with the demo and everything but it's you know superficially for now it kind of feels Sekido ish and I'm, I'm down for another type of action game with a parry mechanic and everything so I'm willing to give it a try Uh, it's got, uh, you know, a lot of style to it. It feels like it controls fine. Um, when I first played the demo, I thought it felt kind of stiff, but I played it for a couple minutes after the fact, like after I got this copy, 
and it feels a little bit better. So there might have been some fine tuning in between now and when the demo released, which is like a month ago. But it doesn't quite feel as rigid as it did back um, when I played that demo. So hopefully it gets pretty fun. Also, the um, once you beat the demo, there's like they give you a boss that you can mess around with with enhanced abilities and stuff on your part. And uh, the abilities, I could see that being a pretty big factor in, you know, making it kind of customized to your play style, making it a little bit more fun, making it a little less rigid than it was when you first start the game. But I'm interested, and I'm optimistic, and I want to see, you know, what all happens here. Ibu. Reminds me of a uh, boss from Liza P, which was kicking my ass. Boy, Liza P was super, super hard. I felt like it was harder than a lot of other, <laughs> like, from software games I played. And then I kind of figured out, you know, sort of the mechanic with it. It did uh, make a little bit more sense to use the summon on the big bosses, um, which I started doing. Because I was trying to solo them, and they had so many different phases. Some of them had, like, three phases. Um, so. You know, having to learn every phase and every maneuver that was happening got a little bit rough, but I ended up making it through. Once I started using the summon mechanic, which I was not using for like the first half of the game, I think I started uh, doing a little bit better. Well, I was doing pretty okay with the parries before, but I don't know, this guy, his timing is a little bit more rough. These enemies with the big sweeping attacks, I think, are the ones that I always have problems with in these types of games. Remember uh, Pontiff Sullivan or whatever from Dark Souls 3 it was like the biggest pain in the ass for me. Uh, I think I messed that up. My HP was like exactly at one tick. Close call. I actually think I died. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure I failed that. Um, because I think when it. So the HP reached zero, it just launched into a cutscene, basically. It's not going to happen like that for any other ones, I'm pretty sure, but I think this is kind of the training segment of the game, so they're being forgiving. It is true, I did still win. game uh yeah there was I, 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 I didn't really like it in the, de <laughs> the demo um oh yeah that whole arm just goes doesn't it
I don't know. There's something about it. I figured I'd give the uh, Japanese a try, even though this game is Korean made. See what it was like. I actually ended up getting the Japanese version of this game, too, because it was uh, a bit cheaper. And uh, I didn't have to pay for shipping, so I actually probably saved close to $20. So... Not too bad in my estimation. Now, surprisingly, the full game is just starting off like this. I, I thought maybe they had skipped some story points in the demo, just on account of, uh, you know, getting straight to the action. But no, it seems like this is how it was naturally supposed to progress. <laughs> I remember not liking this guy's voice in English, I'm pretty sure. Eve was okay, but something about her, like, ADR lines, you know, the grunts and the cries and stuff when she's in combat, uh, were a little bit too repetitive. I don't know if it's going to be a similar situation with the Japanese, but I remember, like, hearing the same thing over and over again. Hearing the same grunt over and over again, I'm like, eh. Something about it. If I notice it, it's not a good thing. Sometimes, a lot of games I don't notice. You know, when there's a repetitive, particular like ADR, or some vocal line of some sort. But when I do notice it, uh, probably means that it's being used a little bit too often. Yeah. What is this wet substance? Idos. Been playing a lot of Idos games of late. Ah, I don't even remember there being a fast travel mechanic. That might have been something that was not in the demo. Or maybe I just didn't notice it, I don't know. I kind of like the music in this game when I played it through the demo. It's something about it. When it hits the vocals and stuff, I don't like it as much, but... <laughs> the melodies and the uh, orchestrated renditions, I think, are okay. Something about it reminds me of like Final Fantasy XIII, which I think is a, has a great soundtrack. I hate the game. <laughs> I think it's like the absolute worst. Final Fantasy in existence, but um, I uh, I still like the music. I listen to that. That was one of the soundtracks that I listened to like independently, which I don't do often. Adam, scavenger from Zion or Zion, he saved Eve's life from an unidentified Natiba. Though Eve did not trust him at first, Adam suggests that he and Eve work together, and so they arrive at Idos 7. Yeah, we seem to have skipped that part in the story. I do think it gets covered at some point, so... Uh, there is that. Planet Diving Suit. Children born on a starry night, Gloria's mission begins. Illuminate Earth as beacons of hope. May you forge a path to the future. You can just take that off right from the get-go. I remember people were saying, like, this skin suit here was something that you needed to unlock, or it was only available through hard mode. Nah, it just makes the game harder, because she doesn't have, like, armor. <laughs> but, you know, that's fine. We don't really care. It's probably better for me to make it a little bit more challenging of myself, to be quite honest. Oh my god, spiders. Oh. I didn't know that there was still one running around. Oh, I don't remember that being a thing either. I don't know, I played the demo like one time. Outside of the boss battle that you get to unlock after the fact. I played that a couple times, but 
Do not remember I needing to hold the button down to uh, pick up items. Passcode. Roar Oa. Basically. Memory stick. Memory stick. Good. Yes. Good. Decaying urban environments are always like a cool little setting. I do enjoy that. Reminds me a little bit of the uh, first Last of Us since we played that fairly recently. Only death remains in the city. Humans who've lost all hope have locked themselves up and are waiting for death to take them. I think some areas of the orbit elevator are still functional. Let's use that to head out into space, yes. Is that it? Actually, it looks like there's something over here. Advanced nano element. Oh, hey. Oh. I didn't know it was going to damage me. I figured it'd be like one of those, I don't know, like, uh, tight night bugs or whatever. Basically the same thing. It was like a rock with two legs. And not Dwayne Johnson. I wonder if you could. Oh, yeah, you can. Dive underneath the water. Oh, there's actually something down here, too. I was gonna say, I. I don't recall exactly if these gals are uh, actually fully uh, robotic or not, but I was going to say, hopefully she doesn't need to breathe underwater. Otherwise, I would ruin the whole thing. Capture places where you can save your progress, get some rest. You can activate them by obtaining fit coins. Oh, that's what I just picked up. I didn't know what that said. It was like a vitamin? Near camps. Sit down on the chairs at camps to recover HP, refill the rechargeable tumbler. Stored items will be retrieved if space is available. Some enemies will be revived when resting at camp. Ah, naturally. Use a vending machine at camp to purchase items. You can learn or train skills through the kiosk. Got it. Learn new skill. Completely parries an enemy's attack and damages the enemy's balance. Oh, that's something we already know. <laughs> Never mind. What is this? SP. You can use SP to learn skills. Okay. Perfect dodge. Oh. Yeah, that was a pretty basic skill right off the bat. Probably want that one. Item shop. A lingering potion continuously restores HP. Shock grenade, highly concentrated potion, twist and drink. Charge with a concentrated recovery paste, and therefore the texture may feel thicker and harder to swallow than a regular potion. I'm guessing that means it takes longer. 
Or is that just why? Is that just giving me lore reasons as to why it's better? Oh. I guess I don't have that much money. Eh, I'm probably good on the HP recovery. I don't really want to reset those enemies just yet. Oh, something actually drops out of the statues. Shit. It's money. Probably should have been checking all the other ones that I hit. Alright, fine. Goddamn. I'm just trying to economize. Oh, I guess it's story related. I, I suppose there was like a flashback or something at this point. We gotta recall what's happening here. Perfect timing. See, they respond. Damn it. Didn't get all of it. See, that's a little Sekiro like. When uh, you have to actually, I remember like the the wind thing that you need to hold down and gather items with. I don't know if this thing has range to it though when I'm holding down R2. It's really no purpose <laughs> to holding down R2. I feel like I should just be able to walk over stuff. Perfect dodge by pressing circle right before you get hit. Okay, that wasn't like right before, but all right. A little bit too late. Early too uh, too early the first time. Too late the second time. God damn it. Just keep doing an interval. Oh. Goddamn, already gonna use two potions. Hopefully we'll do better with them later. Micro drive. Um, I was trying to remember how to do that. Relax. Buddy, I got this. <laughs> there was a noise over there, but my camera was not facing that direction. Kind of in a difficult spot to get at. I don't know that uh, a lot of people would have been raring to get to that one. Maintain their stance with balance. Balance is displayed below the HP and shield gauges. You can knock enemies off balance by performing a perfect parry. Enemies that are completely off balance become groggy. Use retribution to deal massive damage. Eh, 
get it eventually. Now those are breakable. And they do have items. I don't like the Starro looking asshole. Cloak themselves. Perfect dodge. Didn't do a perfect parry, though. There we go. <laughs> it's, it was literally one hit away from dying, but yeah, sure. We could do it with a little bit of flare. Hydra, eh? I guess there's only going to be stuff in there if it's glowing. Gears equipment that can improve Eve's combat abilities. You can equip gear in gear sockets to boost your desired combat capabilities. You can access gear sockets in the equipment tab by pressing the options button and enter, uh, to enter the menu. You can collect Omnibolts to unlock more slots and equip more gear. What exactly did I get? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Combo tech enhancement gear. Uh, the combo attack power level 2 or higher, 40%. Increase attack power of combo attacks level 2 or higher, depending on its intended use. Body firmware came in different types. Range of normal operation for gear also varied for each firmware type. This meant that you couldn't just pick up a module and use it. Uh, it was pain the painful reality faced by the citizens of Xeon, who were dumped on the ground empty-handed. Alright, well, whatever. What's up, Honto? Good to see you. Holy moly. What you wouldn't give to see Lara Croft in that outfit. <laughs> Ain't much of an outfit. It is skin 2.0. I missed something in the menu. Open it up again. Yeah, what did I miss? What exactly? What are we looking at here? Oh, I, I forgot to put on her equipment. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. How silly of me. <laughs> you want me to take it off? But I'll take more damage that way. You old dog, you. Actually, I removed it right from the get-go. I have not seen Jiggle Physics like this since, like, Dead or Alive. It seems to be a lost start these days. It's the price I have to pay. How true it is. Oh. I saw that all the way up from the rooftop, and they didn't, uh, I mean, it looked like it was going to be a secret or something. Uh, they're not exactly subtle. Uh, how, where would I rank the titty jiggle physics? I don't, I don't know. It's like, it's almost fighting game tier, which sometimes those could get a little... A little, little, little much. It's on par with something like, uh, I don't know, like one of those anime RP action RPGs, like a Code Vein or something like that, I think. Which we've seen uh, <laughs> some glitches of that. I know that there's one where somebody does some sort of diving ability and they just start bouncing out of control. Unfortunately, you don't get to see the character too much from the front. I mean, I guess you do when you do this, but I can't tell where I'm going. <laughs> what would happen if we played the entire game like this? Would that be viable? Do you think we could do it? Uh, 
Uh, press the touchpad to have the drone scan the surrounding areas. Scanning locates places you can hang. <laughs> we need to do a comparison video. Yeah, ranking all the all the physics. It is possible. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Get back up there. for another camp. I could use one, but I feel like there's one close by too. I just don't remember exactly where it is. Fusion Fusion That's what I just said. Fair enough. Bar 99. I think there's enemies in there, so... Oh no, I think there's enemies here though, so it doesn't exactly help me out. to blow it up. All right, give me a sec, though. Yeah, I don't know about the whole cell situate or whatever this thing barrels. <laughs> yeah, it didn't exactly work. Wait a second. How do I get the beta skill recharged? Ah, oh, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. <laughs> well, he just looked incensed. worked. <laughs> I don't want to blow myself up. Wait, 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 what? I just skipped the dialogue. I don't know if it was important or not. I don't want to use any more of my limited items if I don't have to. I swear I thought there was a camp around here somewhere. I must have passed it up. Maybe not. No, we're getting back to the beginning here, so... There's a little area we've been seeing a little bit of it, um, but it's off to the right. And I think after defeating that group of enemies, you could potentially get over there. Or at least start making your way over there, so. Maybe that's where we need to go. I 
kind of don't like the long hair. <laughs> it's a little Bayonetta-ish. It's kind of funny that there's so many strands that just kind of like wrap around her though. Certain positions make it look a little more awkward, but otherwise I guess it looks fine enough. Um, would be cool. I don't know if... Apparently this game's got a lot of costumes and shit, but... Um, I don't know if you could like change up her hairstyle or anything. More of a fan of short hairstyles, anyway. Decades have passed since the appearance of Natibas and the evacuation of humankind to the colony. They say the airborne squad is descending to rescue the remaining humankind, but there's no sign. We can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. Bulk ore. Silent Street Pharmacy. Oh, I see this. Hold up. We have potential collectibles down here or something. It's just 45 G's, but it's not bad. How do I... Oh, wait. Maybe I gotta push it. A little bit too fast. Too, too fast. Hey, there's fish in here. Oh, she grabs onto it to herself, kind of. Well... Okay, it doesn't really stick to her, but still, I guess you could see that it's having an effect. It looks like there's something down there. I do want to jump down there, but yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure there's this camp, which I'm kind of dying to activate. So let's do that first. chair is not in the same position as it was at the other camp. Alright. What do we got? What can we do? We've got one SP. Delivers a sudden strike, stuns enemies, deals high damage to their shield. Oh yeah, there is shielded enemies. That might be handy. Only just two waves of fatal energy. There's some of the other things I got going on here. Recharges more beta energy when an attack lands. Execute the enemy from behind. Can only be used on enemies that aren't in combat. Oh, stealth strike. Might not be bad. Hits the enemy in the air, then lands. Ignores the enemy's guard, combo attack, or skill. After perfect dodge holds square. Oh, you know what? I was like, okay, the perfect dodge is cool, but if I could perfect dodge, I could probably perfect parry. <laughs> and I was like, well, why would I want to dodge? Unless it was to get away from a particular attack, but still. Um, but this this opens up to make it a little bit more handy. So now you could dodge and do a follow-up attack. Sort of like regroup yourself. Um, after perfect parry holds square triangle. Can we use the pawn successful perfect parry of an enemy attack? Moves quickly behind the enemy to counter a stun's enemy. This is a combo attack skill. That's not bad either. I might do that. Unlock that now so I can get used to using it. How much is this shit worth? 300, jeez, they're expensive. SP initializer, pulse grenade. Only concentrate. I guess I'll I won't worry about those for right now. That's like all my money. A 
We'll see. I guess there's a crafting element to this game. We'll have to investigate further at some point. I'm pretty sure they mentioned it, but I may not have been paying all that much attention. Give me a sec. We still got things to investigate. There's shit over here. Ah, good. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I didn't know that that one had ignited. Oh god, chained effect. Pretty sure that was the one that turned into an enemy before, so... dodges than I ever have before. I should have picked up the skill with the counterattack on that instead. Beta core. Well, I'm sure I was pretty close to getting another skill point, so it's not too, too late. I'm sure I could, uh, the next time I get around to the campsite, I could probably unlock it. Although it did look like there was a handful of skills, I mean, that could potentially be useful at this early stage in the game, so. Just experience, nothing else. There's an enemy on the other side. I have to remember to use the scan. Probably make sure that there's no climbable spots either. They still do the yellow paint, uh, but I feel like it's a little bit more subtle in this game, so... If I'm not actively looking out for something like that, then I might miss it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jesus. How dare you? I guess I didn't hold the button. You have to hold it if you want to do that counter move. See, that's why I do it early. Unlocked it early. Ow. Oh shit, wrong one. I just accidentally used one of my uh, limited health items. I don't think that was it. Because <laughs> it was supposed to be like a dodge behind. But instead she just did like a... I don't know. Some sort of raging thrust. Tetris star, enter passcode. I guess it's not the Borak one or whatever I saw last time. I 
The code said it was applicable for something in some kind of pharmacy. I think. But I don't know that I remember seeing a pharmacy. Also, I don't know. I don't know. There's like a big statue or something in there. Looks like it might be something. All that stuff at the beginning. I don't think there's anything else over there. It's a nice little sky rail or whatever. Some sort of monorail thing going on up there. Oh, wait. Too far. Anyway, we might have checked out everything that we can for right now. So, let's go around here. Ooh. Booby. <laughs> Booby. Okay, sure. Yeah, I mean, this game's got him, so... Oh shit. Yeah, they got big grab and attack. Two swipes. for the sake of being a red light. It's not an item. Oh, there it is. Barker Drugs. Okay. Damn. He didn't even move that far ahead, so... Bit of shame that it didn't do any damage to him. You son of a bitch, I see you back there. This is not really a way where I can get the jump on him though. Mental despair, network has been destroyed. I'm completely disconnected from the colony's data link. We have nowhere to fall back to. Is this Natiba's doing? Is the colony safe? What happened to Mother Sphere? I lost track of time since even that won't automatically correct itself. For the sake of my own sanity, I must keep track of the calendar by force editing my memory stick. I don't know. Man loses his cell phone and doesn't know how to, uh, <laughs> um, doesn't know how to tell time. Wasn't it Barker? I forget. Hold on. I thought it was like Barker Boa or something. Oh, no, no, no. It's Bokor. Silly me. Guess that's it. Alright, we can use a campsite again. Hmm. Alright, 
So we did end up getting that other skill point. That is the shield breaker one. I don't know how many shield enemies are going to be fighting in the next little period here, but I do think I might want to do that. Let me enter training with this, because I didn't seem to be able to do it. If you're not used to combat, try increasing your proficiency of various skills through training. Trying to read this thing and like parry at the same time. Well, give me an enemy that doesn't like do multiple attacks. Special attacks. Attacks off all attacks. No, I, I just want standard attacks, but I just want... I want it to attack once. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. So... I, I think I got it. I don't know. It's a little weird. Okay, there it is. Okay. I get it now. So you don't, it's not like you hold the square button and expect the move to happen and then you move over to the triangle. You have to like press square and then almost immediately after press triangle and hold the triangle down while you're doing it. So now I get it. Uh, but all right. So let's do the perfect dodge thing because there's been like opportunities where that's cropped up and I'm like, oh. I accidentally perfect dodge, and I could have done something there, I just didn't have the ability to actually do it. We're going into the booby. He was protected by a shield. Eve has damage reduction while the shield is active. And the damage reduction effect increases the shield's protection level, or as the shield's protection level increases. Protection level decreases after each time the shield takes a certain amount of damage. Some enemies are also protected by a shield. Enemies have damage reduction while the shield is active. Destroy the shield or stun the enemy to disrupt their skill use. Uh, use skills like shield breaker or shield destruction gear to quickly destroy an enemy's shield. Turn the tide of battle. Oh, I never did actually rest at the uh, rest stop. I just did the just upgraded the skill. Oh! I guess you don't completely get iframes uh, during a dodge. You know what? I am not in combat. How dare you lie to me? Put the sword away, Eve. Show him how not in combat you are. There you go. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> I 
want to take fall damage. I know you can take fall damage. I don't want to take it right as soon as I just healed. Starting off with that, huh? I was going to say, I mean, <laughs> surely they use some kind of mapping system. Even the most futuristic of games still have a map. They're not on paper, but, you know, 3D interface or whatever still should recognize what it is. That's number six. Athena, my love, wait. Palace, one, two, three, two, two, three. Try to do a little better. Palace, you said you danced. To whom does the rose smile with me? Athena, I know I did, but can we go a little slower? Palace, with beauty, grace, uh, with grace, just as we were born. Athena, my little treasure, I am hacking. Wait, I am a hacking device. Cyberspace is my realm. I don't know how to dance like this. Palace, pff, right, right. You're dangerous and cute, and dot 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 weak, palace. There, I won. Quickly now, quickly. What is this? Plastic Hearts Volume 3. Okay, I guess it's a romance novel. Athena, sh should I lick the plug? <laughs> what, what? Palace, ah, dear Mother Sphere, please forgive your sinful daughter. Ah, ah, okay. Much like the lusty Argonian maid, I guess we'll be getting more volumes of that at some point. It's a, it's a little out of tune. One megabyte? There's these little sections up here, which even when the building was like fully restored, oh god, I don't see that being very comfortable. far when it attacks unless it's actually doing one of those dashing moves but kept expecting it to do that it didn't can't actually climb up there can i i mean i don't know maybe she's real heavy or something like that but she could use the bookcases to <laughs> as like a improvised ladder or something Yes, I've noticed. Quite deep indeed. Oh, we're talking about the sinkhole, yeah. Check something here. Give me just a sec. It's 
Son of a bitch. I noticed my, uh, um, when I pull up the Twitch preview, uh, it's been buffering a minute and the bitrate is going a little, a little wonky on me. Buffering a bit, yeah. Yep, I noticed. Um, I'm gonna let it go. We'll, you know, I'll just do what I've been doing. See if it sorts itself out. Last time I did that, um, I just kind of let it go. I don't know, it took me about five minutes or something like that, and then it ended up sorting itself out. But I think sometimes if I like end the stream or something like that and try to restart it, it doesn't, uh, doesn't necessarily help. It's just one of those things where you have to wait it out a bit. I'm looking around for stuff like a chump when I could be scanning. Anyway, this is about kind of where the demo ended. This parking tower. So we're getting pretty close to where I've played up to previously. What was that? Alright, so it was like that other core that we got. Have to uh, get multiples. Pieces. Heart pieces magic containers, whatever. Multiple pieces in order to get the full upgrade. What's up, Mythical? It is going well. How are you doing? I don't know. Bitrate seems to have sorted out. We're having issues with a little bit of buffering with the stream going on a minute ago, but I think we're... In a good spot. That being said, sometimes when there is a uh, bitrate issue, there is a bit of a delay on the stream. I think refreshing might help. Sometimes, I don't know, it depends on how long you've been here, maybe. But sometimes if you refresh, it um, will catch you up. But otherwise, I don't know, there might be a bit of a delay. Oh shit, I actually didn't mean to skip that. You can upgrade your drone, craft nano suits, fast travel to other camps. Oh, okay, that's just telling me about, like, this big camp. This is, this is the super camp among other camps. Good, just finishing up Cop Simulator, then you're gonna finally start this game. Oh, okay. Uh, IGN smoking some strong shit. If they're saying it's not that good. <laughs> I don't know, I don't, I, I don't exactly trust IGN's opinions ever, but um, eh, sometimes it depends on the reviewer too, cause yeah, they're all under the blanket of IGN, but sometimes somebody gotta stick up their butt about something and they just, you know, eh, it's, it's not that great. I've played better. It's pretty fun so far. I was talking about it previously though, but um, I'm willing to give like these double A studios a chance now because I played Liza P last year and thought it was absolutely amazing. 
I don't remember exactly what the critical consensus about that game was, but I thought it was really fun. Very engaging, love the setting, love the tone, love the pacing, combat and everything was great, loved all the weapons. Good variety of stuff, and I felt, you know, even compared to what it was trying to mimic, which are, you know, from software type games, I actually had more fun with it than I have with, you know, from software games of late. Uh, and playing the demo with this, it felt a little rigid on the demo side, but actually getting to play the full game now, it actually feels a little bit more fluid. And I've been uh, I've been digging the combat. Haven't trusted IGN since God of War, and then Spider Man Two was okay, but they're on crack. <laughs> oh, so you played Liza P? Cool. Yeah, um, really enjoyed that game. So when when this started to drop, I'm like, eh, you know what? Maybe I'll give it a I'll give it a look because. I'm willing to go out on a limb for some of these, you know, double A studios that aren't exactly, you know, the biggest, but they've got, they've got passion, damn it. And they know how to make a game. But yeah, I've really, uh, really been enjoying it so far. I'm just getting right to kind of like the end of the demo area, but. Okay. So I also think at these big camps is where we could actually start crafting stuff too. So all those materials that we've been gathering together is when we can actually start applying that to something. Change survival tree. Select blink. Can only be used when enemies attempting a fatal attack. Dodges and teleports behind the enemy to attack. Stuns the enemy. Oh, okay, so you have to dodge like forward. Interesting. Oh, okay. I think I remember this. It's actually really obvious because sometimes I think like, well, I don't know. I don't know if I want to risk it, but like the weapon actually flashes, which is a lot more obvious than you think it might be. My only complaint with this game is a censorship for the digital version. Otherwise, it looks so good. That's weird. It was just for the digital version. That's strange. I ended up getting the uh, physical copy of the Japanese version. I don't know how different and or similar that is. You'd think they'd all be the same, though, uh, but... Um, I ended up getting it because it saved me about 20 bucks to do it that way, and it was multi-language anyway, so. Anyway. There you go. We oh, got it. You got a physical copy yourself. I try to go physical as much as possible, even if games these days are reared towards digital market. I didn't do it for Spider-Man 2, probably most recently. And um, I don't know if I necessarily regret that or not, but <laughs> I was just, I went to like three different stores and I'm like, son of a bitch, the no store I went to. I went to a GameStop. And I think I went to a Walmart and then a Target and none of the stores had it. Um, and I'm like, whatever, I'm just going to get the digital copy. Uh, but I think that's the only like major game that I've gotten on console where I've actually bought a digital version. My friend gets digital all the time. That's like the only way he could do it. But yeah, that move was not in the demo. It was not, no. Um, but the, uh, when I started this up, you could continue off. When you when you start the game, you could continue off where the demo left off, basically, just before the boss battle. You have to do the boss battle again. But like when I went to this station here, they give you that move, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, they give it to you, quote unquote. You have to still have to spend a skill point on it, but um, yeah, it's uh, quite handy. Repair console. Attack power tumbler. I think we got, so we got a weapon core and that's it, so let's see. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> Not much to it. It's just straight upgrade. That's fine. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, why not? I'll get myself one of those. You bought Spider-Man 2 digitally, you bought the deluxe version. Yeah, I'm like, well, as, as much as I'm driving around, I'm going to end up eating the cost. <laughs> I 
um, having to, you know, spend 20 bucks driving around the city looking for this damn thing. I would have pre-ordered it, but I think I was looking at places for a pre-order cop. I wanted to play it on launch because I wanted to stream it, but places w that were doing like launch day delivery or whatever weren't cheap. Nobody was doing any deals that I saw for that one. I don't usually like, um, like having a physical copy pre-ordered and held at a store either. It's like, so I just didn't look into that. I figured ah, somebody's got bound to have it, so might as well just go pick it up. But I don't know if it was like a stocking issue or just they ended up selling out. I, I in this day and age, I find it hard to believe that a store would have sold out of physical copies, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe stores ain't buying that much at the same time. There's a potential where they, you know, maybe have 50 copies available and then sell out in a matter of hours. This thing. Yeah, I had to play this a couple times when I first uh, did this in the demo. Not the first boss, boss battle we've done, but uh, probably the first major one. Cute enemy design, I know. Enemy design is actually pretty cool with this game. I've, I've enjoyed what I've seen from it so far. and try to do the dodge through, but that didn't work. I was ha for whatever reason, when I was playing the demo, I was having an issue parrying, and then when I'm playing the full version now, I feel like I'm having a much easier time. So I don't know if maybe I wasn't getting something before, um, but... Or, or they ended up changing something in between when the demo came out and you know this full launch but I'm having a much easier time I feel like doing the uh, parries this time around of course I'm still eating a bunch of hits but you know whatever Oh no! Well, that sucked. He was really close to dying. I probably should have just run up and started trying to hit him. But uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of dance around. But those uh, those lightning bolts did not. Yeah, got stun locked in them. They were not forgiving.
Most likely timing was either off or they increased the parry window. Maybe, I don't know. It might have been that the parry windows increased just a little bit. I don't think there was a difficulty selection on the demo and I chose just the, the normal, which is the hardest by default, uh, starting this one up. So I don't think there's a difference, but um, yeah, it's possible they could have changed something. I, I feel like my i mean it was only a month ago when the demo came out i don't i don't think i'm that rusty again i was playing liza b up until maybe about february of this year um so i don't think my uh <laughs> my sense of timing is all that rusty so i don't know and i'm playing this through the capture card which honestly probably makes things like slightly laggy not terrible but just ever so slightly laggy and I think I was just playing just straight up through HDMI last time onto the TV, so... I don't know, I feel like something might have been changed. last time. Guess not this time. Damn, this lightning's been getting me. I'm not getting a good read on what this guy's gonna do. Out of all of my major health elements. That did not go as far as I was hoping it would. Come on. I did a lot better the first time around. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's try it again. Getting a little cocky, huh? Getting a little penisy. strategy see if it works this time around I think still need to dodge that uh, leaping attack hey that actually got him three
power move actually worked. Just in time, too. Alright, not bad. Masaka Tausto, Odoroita. あげ。強い相手ではあったが。敵は手強くなる一方だ。As <laughs> I guess it's the distant future, but I find it hard to believe that that expression would be making a comeback. Positive. Positive. Positive thoughts. Alright, so we are officially past the uh, demo limitations. Oh, just a basic ass camp here. I suppose we could always fast travel back to the other one if we needed to. What's up, Lyra? Welcome in. I wasn't even, you know, it's funny you mentioned that. Demos are making a comeback. Your sister's on PC. I'm sure sooner or later it'll get there. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that this game was a PlayStation exclusive, to be quite honest. But anyway, it's funny you mentioned demos are making a comeback, because I haven't really thought about a demo for, like, the longest time. And it wasn't until this one. Again, I, I did mention, you know, Liza P turned my head around on, you know, trying out, like, some of these AA games. But, um... Still, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. And I figure even if I watch somebody play it or something like that, I don't think it's going to translate to how it's actually going to feel. I took a gamble with like Stranger of Paradise. I ended up loving that game and I love the combat with that game. But if there was a, I don't know, even though if there was, oh no, there was a demo out. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably should have tried it because <laughs> I had no clue. I think I was going to get that game regardless because it just seems so ridiculous. But still... Um, I really wanted to see what the combat was like before I actually invested in it. Uh, so, yeah, it, it paid off. I don't know if I'm going to be doing demos for a lot of other games. I buy new games so infrequently that um, I feel like, you know, if, if I think I'm going to get it, I'm probably going to get it just on my own willpower and volition, but... Still need to play Stranger's Paradise, but I hardly touched it. Due to performance issues. Uh, okay. You had it on PC then. Um, apparently it wasn't terribly well optimized. I thought it played great, but I had a, you know, I guess, I don't know. I think I played it when I had a 3080. And I probably still had a high range i7 at the time. I forget exactly. It's been a couple of years. But I thought it played all right. But people were complaining about optimization on PC when it first came out, unfortunately. There was like really, really high poly models um, that were used for like actual in-game combat sequences, which was kind of silly. It was like cutscene tier high poly models and they were using them for like in-game cutscenes. I didn't have any issues running it, but and I, I streamed the whole thing too, which takes up addi additional resources. So I thought it actually performed pretty well, but I was a little disappointed when I heard that people were having uh, issues with it makes it easier to use perfect fairy no shit they actually increase the uh, time window on that it takes two sp i've actually we've been talking I me mean, mythical about how uh <laughs> open the parry window seems already so talk about backlog still haven't played resident evil village oh wow yeah the resident evil series is a big one for me so i usually try to get those right out of the way but still again i'm not a big i'm not really big on getting brand new games it's just not i usually stick with the series i know 
I rarely take a gamble on some of these newer things unless it's got like a good studio behind it. So it uh, it's pretty rare for me to actually be getting something like that. I mean, I know when we think back to like last year or 2020, there's like a shitload of games, but it's just because there was this backlog of stuff that just happened to come out that particular year. Got another perfect dodge. Can only be used when the enemy is attempting a f uh, fatal attack. Pushes the enemy away, steps back, temporarily increases ranged attack power. I don't think I even have any ranged attacks. Did I hear about the RE9 leak? Oh, um, not really. I thought I saw somebody talking about it, but I don't know what all is involved with it. Unless it was like really old. If it was an old leak, then I probably read about it, but I've since forgotten. But I thought I saw somebody talking about uh, something relatively recent. But I didn't really look too much into it. Apparently taking notes from Outbreak. Hmm. Might be interesting. You survived that damn Abaddon. I survived. Now all I have to do is get out of this building. I'll see you at the rendezvous point. I guess you survived, but uh, <laughs> not for too long after. Rip. Every time I see leaks these days on, you know, a video game, I always... I mean, so much of it is just, like, pure bullshit. I just scarcely find it easy to believe. Of course, when there's, like, an actual, like, corporate <laughs> data loss or something, they got hacked or something, then it's like, okay, well, it's probably a little bit more believable, but... When somebody just comes out and says, hey, I got info on this thing, it's like, yeah, all right, sure you do. Sure you do. Oh, shit. Can't open doors in combat. Oh, ooh, 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 okay. That sucked. GTA. Well, GTA 6, when people actually have builds and stuff to show for it it's like all right yeah this is believable <laughs> but when it's just like text and people say i got info and this is what it is or it's like the 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 blurry like screenshots of a computer monitor that people used to do you know 10 15 years ago it's like that shit don't fly anymore but when you have an actual like functioning playable game that's a different story <laughs> Thank you, Akiri. I appreciate the lurk. Two of them. I don't know how many beta skills. Ironic. To be a beta and not have beta skills. Not what I was hoping it would do. Taking the RE9 thing with the Grand Assault. Really want Outbreak to be remade. That'd be weird if it, it, it does end up being like an Outbreak remake though. Um, and it's a fully numbered title. The good thing about, I don't know, in retrospect, you know, I probably like Resident Evil 7 and 8 a little bit less than I like, um, <laughs> like, Remake 2 and 4, to be quite honest, but, I mean, the, the nice thing about the numbered titles that they've been doing recently is that they're, uh, you know, unique, they're trying something different. It's weird, they're, like, 7 and 8 were fun when I played them. But, I, like, I don't have much want to, like, replay them. 
I rebought Village on PC and I played through like maybe a couple hours and I'm like, yeah, this, this is fun. I'm good. <laughs> and then I just put it down. Although, to be honest, I, it's not like I've played uh, replayed uh, 4 either, but still. Um, I don't know. I could see the chances of me replaying 4 higher. 2 when that came out. Good lord, I replayed that game like 5 or 6 times. I do not like fighting 2 of these at once. It's not fun. You son of a bitch. I don't even know what this thing is doing. Alright, there we go. Cricket boomer. Anyway, I mean, Resident Evil 4 Remake just came out last year. I like that thing. I remember it was trending on Twitter for a minute, but like somebody, like two months after Resident Evil 4 Remake came out, somebody made a post uh, adding Capcom and it's like, w what are you guys doing? Where's where's the next thing? <laughs> and it's like, where's the announcements? And it's, the, the game just came out two months ago. Sir and or madam, why are you upset that they're not releasing content to your liking. I don't know what that is. Exospines contribute to Eve's combat style. You can equip exospines with your equipment. Exospines socket. Oh, naturally that would be where it is. Uh, choose your desired combat style. Oh, great. Combat style shit. Uh oh. Hopefully it's not too different. Uh, they can be upgraded at repair consoles located in supply camps. Each upgrade unlocks additional features of the Exo Spine. Ah. Well, all right. Let's see. Chain type increases attack power combos level two or higher by twenty-seven percent. Get something else. Bonus beta energy recharge six percent. Damage reduction, 4.5%. Yeah, I'm good with the damage increase that I've been working with. But anyway, back to what I was talking about with Resident Evil. It's like Resident Evil 4 remake just came out last year. And then there was the pretty decent expansion uh, that was what, like September or something like that? I don't think it was quite October. Shit. But um, I don't I don't feel the need to journey back into the uh, Resident Evil universe just yet. So hopefully 9 is still a little ways off. I forget, did I get the shield? I don't know if I even got a skill point. Or a skill unlock. I don't think I got the shield breaker though. I pressed what I thought it was and that wasn't it, so... I'm guessing not. There's probably a car in here or something. Oh, there it is. You blow snot on me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shit. I don't have any other healing items either. Got blindsided by that guy. I didn't even know he was over there. Well. Necessarily know if there's a disadvantage to dying, you probably lose something, so best to uh just backtrack my way back to the camp, I suppose. 
I guess that's one level up. Hold on. Give me an opportunity to look at the skill set too, because I think I want, if we're dealing with these ant bastards again, try to get that shield breaker. It's not X. Oh shit, I brought I bought the wrong one. That's what the problem is. I thought I pressed it. I'm like, I used the beta skill. See, I was just going off of my imperfect memory as opposed to actually looking at the damn thing. All right, now we have it. New features unlocked. Uh, crit damage increases by 23%. It's weird to have crits in a game like this, but all right. Yeah, we got another weapon core. More attack power. Very nice. Uh, but sure. Let's increase the crit damage. Seemingly just a fairly small attack upgrade, but... <laughs> God damn it, you ruined it. I was trying to have that explode on you. when you pick them up have some sort of like a little auto tune tune to them reminds me of Steve 1983 when he taps a spoon on the glass no rhyme or reason for it but it is somewhat melodic Alright, you bested. Get your ass over here. I thought that was the shield breaker. I didn't seem to break any shield, though. He still has a shield. I thought there was a dashing move like that. I don't 
don't need any damn hints. I see what it is. Ah. One of those guys out there. Oh, shit. I didn't notice that we needed two of them, though. Damn it. Come on, you can crawl under there. Man, I guess I must have missed. There must have been a car somewhere. Somewhere else in the garage. There's a fusion cell. Damn shame I can't move that. Make it easier to get down here. I don't think I got a password for this either. Oh, maybe it doesn't need one. Oh, hey, there's a fusion cell. Okay. That's what it was. Oh. Glad I don't need to crawl through the rest of the garage and come back down here. side of the chasm. Okay, that's probably the way we need to go then. No. Well, maybe not. Hammerhead! I was trying to dodge through it, do one of them fancy dodges. That didn't work. The problem with these games for me is every time I come across a new enemy, it takes me a second before I learn what the hell its moveset is. I, mean, I guess it's the same for anybody, but, um, you know, I think for some people it's easier to dodge some of these moves right off the bat. Go to Lich, give me a sec. Back away! Get away from me! Ah, oh, shit. Sometimes I accidentally hang on to the dodge button a little bit too long, end up executing a move I don't need to actually do, wasting my beta skill. Extreme polymer material. 
Oh, here we go. I'm like, is that it? One of the gals. One more. I get more uh, HP after that. I don't like. Okay, god damn it. <laughs> I was like, I don't like the look of that thing in the back, but I was staring at it too long and ended up getting hit. Ooh, I saw a little bit of pop in. I need to rest at the camp again. Hopefully, if we have to fight one of those dozers again, it uh, doesn't wreck me. I feel like some of the music tracks in this game would be nice to work to. If they uh, have a soundtrack that's easy to pull up, I might take a look at it. Unlike Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. As much as I like some of the tracks in that game, make it absolutely impossible to find the damn things. Too late on that eve. Oh. I was like, I could sneak up on this guy. I do not have a uh, sneak attack yet. Yeah, the shield breaker doesn't um, do anything. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm probably using it wrong, but uh, it doesn't feel like it does anything. It's like she does a kind of a drop kick. I mean, it's look look, look and move, but I don't sense that, uh, that any shields are being broken. Granted, I don't know that the enemy, I guess, counts as having a shield. With that one in particular, it seems like there's some sort of shield attribute to it because, you know, it's partially white for half its health bar and then you attack it enough, and then all that crust falls off. I don't think I've ever seen it do that move before. Oh, shit. Ooh. I did it too early. Also, that thing in the background. Ah, they explode. Shoots projectiles. Official Young RB, welcome. I think this game is worth copping. Uh, so far, I'm having fun with it. I mean, we're only about two hours in, but I like the playstyle. I was a little wary when I played the demo. Try the demo first and see. Um, I felt like the combat was a little bit rigid but actually playing the full game here it feels a lot more fluid for me and i feel like i'm able to execute combos and parry a little easier than i was having with my luck in the in the demo um, but so far i mean i don't know that's like i haven't seen too too much of it i do like the decayed city setting uh the combat feels fun dug the last couple boss battles that we've done but at the same time, this is just two hours in. I feel like with a lot of games these days, you don't really know what you're getting into unless you're a few hours in. I guess I'll need to be on the lookout. I thought I saw a scanner thing for like a human or something. Oh, do you know what it was? It was the it was the girl in the shop. That's what it was.
earliest enemies, and I still don't know when it's going to do a three-hit combo and when it's just going to do a singular strike. You just played the demo, you thought it was cool. So far, on, um, just off of the demo that I played, I was willing to take an additional chance with it and see um, what it was like. I ended up getting the physical copy of the Japanese version, which was like 20 bucks cheaper for me, so I don't know if that's viable for you, but... But I'm thinking I'm probably gonna like it. It does kind of the thing about like action games like these. I feel like um, in order to keep being engaged, it needs to there needs to be a decent amount of variety when it comes to weapons that you can use. You know, different types of attacks, builds, and then also uh, enemies. Not just necessarily the bosses, but with just like the standard rank and file. So. You know, after 10 hours or whatever, if I'm still fighting the same enemies, I'm probably not going to think as highly of it, but uh, they've been introducing new stuff, you know, about every half hour or so. So I guess we'll see how it plays out. But yeah, so far so good. You know, I realized last time that he did a sneak attack and I just completely forgot about him. I wasn't even thinking about it. I think you might buy it. Huh? I hope you enjoy it. I'm kind of not wanting... I, I, I want to like explore a little bit more actually, so I feel like I'm already hooked. Because <laughs> after two hours, I was going to switch over to Fantasy Star 4, but uh, I kind of don't want to right now. I want to see what else is going on here. I see one of these bastards. It hasn't even been that long since I played an action game. We were just talking about it, but uh, Liza P was not that long ago. I had a lot of fun with that one. But I'm just like in the mood for another shit. Another type of action game, but I guess that probably is because I've been playing so many damn RPGs lately too. Nice. Well, if you got any specific questions or anything about any sort of aspects of the gameplay, feel free to ask. But yeah, I've been enjoying the playthrough. I'm glad the uh, playthrough on stream is coming across. It's pretty fun too. Right now, I'm not doing anything terribly interesting. We just defeated the first major boss, uh, but I don't know. I'm just having fun kind of exploring the city and seeing what all's in here. Mother Sphere, our beacon of hope, our prophet, have you forsaken us? Please save us from Natibas. Just do it before my damn faith runs out. Yeah, let's hope he was faithful until the end. Still haven't crafted any suits. I've been just wearing the damn skin suit for so long. Oh, I forgot that was an explosive attack. I think, and especially after, because... Transportation device. Well, it's a good thing I picked up a fusion core, then. Um, but when they give you the opportunity to do the additional boss battle after after playing through the main demo portion of the game, uh, in the demo for this, I think that's kind of what convinced me, because, uh, again, I was like, eh, combat's all right. Um, and granted, playing the full game now, I think it's a lot better than it was in the demo, but um, having done that additional boss battle, I think that's probably what kind of pushed me into thinking, yeah, you know what, this might be cool, because I saw that there was like a number of different enhancements and abilities that you can utilize in combat. Um, 
And I'm like, all right, well, maybe you could do something like additional than just kind of the basic features that they showed you for the main gameplay portion of the demo. So I'm glad that they included that. It's kind of not something, I don't know, I don't, I don't play demos very often, but I feel like that's not something that usually happens in a demo where they give you like a boss battle with a bunch of advanced abilities that you get later in the game just so you could see what it's going to be like. Alright, we haven't looked at anything over here, I don't think. forehead would take a little bit more of that than it did, but I guess whatever. I don't know if there's a way to avoid that after it's already been deployed. Uh, apparently with those special dodge moves, they need to be done like when the weapon flashes, and I haven't seen the weapon actually flash yet. See, they had a giant statue near the beginning of this area. And you could climb up it, and now every giant statue that I come across, it's like I'm trying to <laughs> see if I can climb it, but I don't think it'll ever be the case. Network is down, the sky burns, the colony falls apart. Where is Mother Sphere? Why is the colony falling down to Earth? Answer my last call, Mother Sphere. Why? Why? You promised us salvation. Was it a lie? I swear I'm not like <laughs> I'm not intentionally trying to cam right on her ass but they were talking about the burning sky I wanted to see if that was still the case kind of like a matrix situation or something oh wait this is the one I thought it was gonna be here it is I think I've gotten to the point where I could take out those enemies so much quicker now, except when they're actually rolling at me. But um, I could take them out so much quicker now that they're just deploying themselves in a kamikaze attack as opposed to trying to uh, <laughs> battle it out. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a second set of stairs there. Don't you sure me? Besides, it's not like we haven't seen plenty of our ass already. I cannot partake in looking at it necessarily since, uh, you know, I'm trying to play the damn game here. It's distracting enough when I've got like multiple enemies on me. Something. Oh, there it is. It's like you can always tell. I mean, I guess you hear it too, but the controller. It's that damn haptic feedback, but it makes it feel like I've got like a constant. Like I've I've just hit a metal pipe against the, the cement, <laughs> and it's it's like constantly ringing in my hand. And I'm like, there's something nearby. I could feel it. I guess I'm still not used to two years with this console. I'm not used to the haptic feedback on the controller. I would almost say it's slightly irritating, but, um, I mean, it is handy. 
but it's just an, it's like an odd sensation but unpleasant <laughs> I mean it's a nifty feature you don't think I don't know like when when you think of how far games can advance you don't necessarily think of, like what the controller vibration is going to be like but it's you know, there's something to it I think it's most apparent what the, the controller could do with just like the game that was developed around it which was um, Astro's Playroom that game had some cool features with the haptic feedback and just recreating different sensations that they can make with the controller. I thought it was a very neat little game just because, you know, it's basically a tech demo for the controller. But anyway, um, it is handy. I feel like I want more abilities that utilize counterattacks after you do combos or parries and dodges. But there's also other things too. Continuously generate arcs to attack furious forward, furiously forward. Third, it stuns enemies. Oh. Cover some beta energy when an enemy is hit with a triplet. Slash deals additional damage to enemy shields. That'd be nice. What about the damn shield breaker thing? It's like it didn't seem to actually work. That is the attack. Because it's like... I guess I called it a drop kick before, actually. Maybe I didn't do it right. It looked like a drop kick. Yeah, I was probably looking at it wrong. But it looks like a heel kick now. When I look at the dem demonstration video. Additional damage to enemy shields. Temporarily deals more damage to shields when attacking enemies after using shield breaker. Increases attack power. I don't know. I just probably shouldn't be spending money on that, but or skill points on that, but still. Uh, I think I'm going to give it a try just because of, I've been noticing some enemies with shields. Executes an enemy from behind. Oh, okay. Well, I want that one. Doesn't seem to pop up too often where you get an opportunity to actually do a execution type move, but should I come across that opportunity, I would like to actually do it. I was prepared for you this time. I almost got hit, but... second too early. It's too much time. I'm almost dead too. It's a damn shame. You son of a bitch. see what's down here. There's a lot of water, so I was kind of hesitant, but... Okay. <laughs> I was a little bit afraid. I'm like, eh, this seems kind of extensive, but there doesn't seem to be a... any sort of attack that you could do underwater, so I'm going to assume that we actually won't get attacked while we're down here. Man. 
several things we've come across that need a passcode. I feel like I've been pretty thorough with the exploration factor too. Here's somebody. Is he alive? Just received the comm signal from the new unit. The protocol begins. Angels of Death will descend from the colony the, to rid the Natibas from Earth and save us. Mother Sphere's salvation is nigh. I'm thankful I lived through this hell for decades. Good lord. Uh, alright. Uh, S. Book. S. B. down here but nothing else so I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything oh she could rapid ascend oh I guess she's got like some kind of climbing thing hey a main camp one of the big ones I guess that's why they're, <laughs> they're all in red. Uh, Alright, fair enough. Okay, so... I'm going to spend some money on health items. Actually, hold on, what is that? That seemed like it was limited. Resets the skill tree, oh, okay. Refunds all SP. Adam, Shojiki,初めてあなたを見たときは驚いた。なぜだ。コロニーではもう地球に誰も残ってないって聞いてたから。そう思われて当然だな。だが、マザースフィアにだって知らないことはある。じゃあ。あなたみたいな生き残りが他にもまあいるにはいるが数は少ないな地球で生き抜くのはそう簡単じゃないんだ。We get to these big camps. It's time for a little catch up on what's going on with Earth, I guess. Some lore building. Interesting that we really haven't any had any cutscenes that like kind of show. I mean, there's been like still frames of them, but like how they met up and everything. I kind of expected that to be more cutscene oriented, but I guess not. Look at all that. Jeez. It looks like it's very possible to actually fall out <laughs> down there. I don't want to do that. What is this? Denkenが入らない。アセラ。階段の下に電力室がある。配列を直して電力を供給するんだ。I didn't even necessarily know what I was doing, but <laughs> I just kind of assumed. But uh, 
I got it. Oh, nice. Everything's been unlocked. It's actually working. I thought maybe it was just going to be an information terminal, not the uh, actual thing. Now hold up a second, damn it. Oh, son of a bitch. I wanted to see what was down there. Is there anything actually down there? There's a few boxes, which I guess would probably have some kind of material or money in them, but... So. Always ready to get off, baby. I didn't notice that they like squirmed alive. I guess most of them that we've seen have been propped up against the wall and then they just like fall over, but the one we saw underwater and this one, they like spring up a little bit when you interact with them. One Legion squadron was about 20,000 troops and all the equipment needed for their activities. Legion 8 and 15 were stationed at IDOS 7. After the colony extinction, there were only about 3,000 troops left. I wonder how many will live to see the sunrise tomorrow. Nice little sunset area. You know, I've taken to, uh, a liking to uh, playing games in HDR, actually. Now that I have a, I used to have a HDR TV, um, it was a sharp, but it was like one of the first HDR TVs and it was like not compatible with anything. Uh, and it kind of even looked like crap. I don't know. HDR is like a real finicky thing. There's a lot to do with like signal and color grading and you know, what colors that the television can actually output. Um, but ever since I got this new Sony one. Uh, a little over a year ago. I don't know, it looks pretty sharp, at least with the PlayStation. So I've been kind of wanting to see what games look like in HDR mode. But I can't do it for streaming, unfortunately. It looks way too dark. I did it for Miles Morales, uh, the Spider-Man game. And, uh... Boy, the stream... <laughs> High contrast. Once I uploaded them to YouTube and I actually saw what the recordings were looking like, I'm like, oof. Okay, I probably don't want to do that again. The nano suit affects Eve's appearance. You can use collected design patterns and materials to craft nano suits. 
collect a variety of nano suits and face the fate of this world in style. I've seen some pretty nice looking ones. Of course, we just have like the skin suit, which uh, has its own advantages, appearance wise. <laughs> but um, I don't know, the green was fine. Um, but I didn't really want to wear it. But we got to cover her up now, depending. I think there's like some stuff that might actually, I mean, she's fully covered with this. It's just that the physics are unbound. I don't know if they are with other things too, but them things are slanging as they are now. There's fish in there. Which water? They must be talking about something else. Though I don't know what. Oh shit. See, I was sort of prepared for there to be one that was alive. I just, even though I broke it open, I didn't know it was going to be this one. Sucks to be you. It's a really big one. Let me let me interact with this thing first, and then we'll try to do a, whatever we can with the big one there. Sis, something is falling from the sky. Did we get any orbital bombardment warnings? Oh, he was a big guy, aren't you? Some of those hits, when it started like repeatedly swinging the mace arm thing at me, I feel like that could have gone over a lot worse. Controller's doing that weird thing again, or it was, I guess it's not doing it anymore. Something is down there though. I like this track. I, got, I don't know, there hasn't been any music that I've thought uh, has been unpleasant, but every once in a while there's one that stands out a little bit more than another one does. Nice sunset lighting. Love sunset looking stuff. The area where I live has always been known for its sunsets, but I guess living in an area where people were talk about how remarkable the sunsets are, I guess you kind of take it for granted. I will say though that every time I have a dream and I remember a dream, it's always like during a the sunsetting time. It's a big it's a bright sun in the distance, everything looks orangish, got an orange hue to it. Hidden note. Oh, Obo. Flooded commercial sector, rear gate. Might be not something that we can access until we get rid of the water or something. Ooh. 
Ooh, ooh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Almost fell in that water. It's definitely not on rails. here. I've had a number of battles, but uh, surprisingly not taking that much damage, so I haven't even used the health item yet. I want to respawn the enemies just yet. Oh, son of a bitch, I thought I dodged. Once you dodge, you can't, like, dodge again. <laughs> This'll work. Twitch is fair. Is this a passcode thing? Shit. Um, I don't remember exactly what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, there was still... Oh, wait, never mind. Ah, uh, ooh, obo. Okay. I remember I made a weird noise, but I don't remember how to translate that into an actual password. Shopping. Shopping. Oh, another big camp. I think I'm gonna stop playing this here. We haven't done anything too major. No major bosses or anything outside of the one that we did on the rooftop of the bargain garage. Stream's not done. I'm, I'm gonna keep streaming, but we gotta get to Fantasy Star 4. I was only gonna put a couple hours into this. I thought maybe I'd get to the end of the demo section and then that would be it, but uh, <clears throat> we ended up beating that before two hours and then I just got a little bit too hooked. Um, but nice game so far, very pleasant. I want to call it atmosphere. I don't know. The music's real nice. <laughs> I dig the music. Um, I like exploring the ruins of modern civilization. And uh, I'm finding the combat fun. Even though sometimes I'm getting my ass kicked. But um, I, I feel like I'm not getting my ass kicked as much as I am kicking ass. So uh, I feel like I'm at a proper ratio for it. But very nice to explore. Uh, this game, I don't, I don't think it's going to be something that I'm going to play, you know, exclusively on stream. Uh, so when I pick this up next time I stream it, um, maybe I'll make a little bit of progress. I guess it depends on how much time I give myself to play games, you know, off stream, which usually isn't that much. So I don't know. Maybe there won't be, uh, like a huge difference in what we see from stream to stream, but maybe we will. I'm not too sure. It doesn't seem like this game, like, has a ton of story uh, going on too so that might be a good thing you know just so that we're not missing out on too much but uh, in any case yeah I'll probably be playing this a little bit on my own time and you know when I feel like I want to mix up just strictly doing RPGs for the next few streams I'll uh, pop this in and maybe we'll do a little bit of this and uh, a little bit of something else I don't think I'm going to do like I don't know. RPGs take so damn long. I don't think I'm going to do like a full stream of this unless I finish up with those games and I feel like I want to beat it. We'll see how it goes though. But uh, give me a sec. I'm going to stop this and uh, I'm going to set up for Fantasy Star 4. So we're going to jump into that in just a minute here, but I will be right back.